of Paulus' letters, Pros Thessalonikes, the second, chapter 2. Now we are asking you, brothers, concerning the coming of our Lord Yeshua anointed and our gathering together to him, to the end that ye be not quickly shaken from the mind, nor yet be troubled either by spirit or by word or by epistle as from us, as that the day of the Lord hath stood in. Let no man beguile you in any way, for it will not be, except the falling away come first, and the man of the lawlessness be revealed, the son of the ruination. The one opposing and exalting himself over all things, whether anything being called a god or an object of worship, so that he sitteth in the temple of the god, exhibiting himself that he is god. Remember ye not, that yet being with you, I was telling you these things. And now ye know the restraining thing, to the end that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of the lawlessness already is effectually working, only there is the one restraining just now, until he should become taken out of the middle. And then shall be revealed the lawless one, whom the Lord Yeshua shall kill with the breath of his mouth, and bring to naught by the manifestation of his coming. Even he whose coming is according to the effectual working of the Shatana with every power and signs and wonders of falsehood and with every deception of unrighteousness for the ones perishing, because they received not the mindful love of the truth, that they might be saved. And because of this, the God is sending them an effectual working of error, so that they believe the lie, that they be judged, all the ones not having believed the truth, but having favoured the unrighteousness. But we are being obligated to give thanks to the God always for you, brothers beloved of Lord Yahweh, for that the God chose you as a first fruits offering into salvation in sanctification of spirit and belief of the truth. Whereto he called you through our announcement, to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yeshua anointed. So then, brothers, stand fast, and hold the traditions which ye were taught, whether by word or by epistle of ours. Now our Lord Yeshua anointed himself, and the God our Father, who loved us and gave us eonic comfort, and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word.